Yes, good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, wherever you're watching from. Thank you once again for tuning in. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you do smash a like on the video. Let's try and hit 300 to 400 likes on this video, like we always do. We have got an interesting topic to discuss, um, and that is a few reports coming out. I believe The Sun and The Daily Mail have both reported this, and that is about Crystal Palace defender Anderson. Now, everyone knows I am a massive, massive fan. There he is, right? Tottenham are apparently interested in Anderson. This is coming out from about five sources. This guy here, don't know a huge amount about him, but the Sun and the Daily Mail. Now, everyone knows the Daily Mail. They've got that tap-in merchant, Sammy Mockbell. Now, other than him, the rest of their reporters are actually fairly reliable. It's just Sammy Mockbell seems to write could or would in any of his reports. And then all of a sudden, we all absolutely lose our mind. But let's talk about it. Anderson, 27 years of age. I believe Crystal Palace signed him from Lyon for £40 million pounds or €40 million Euros a couple of seasons ago. This is the sort of defender I can get behind. If we're not going to bring in Tapsoba and if we're not going to bring in uh, Van de Ven or if we're going to bring in one of the two, the other one better be Anderson. 27 years of age, has got the same agent, I believe, as Ryan Sessegnon and two other Tottenham players. Um, contract expires 2026. Transfermarket.co.uk value this guy at £30 million. Pounds. A very good centre-half. Ha um, has been um, a captain. I believe he was at Fulham on loan from Lyon. And it was, it was very influential in terms of the leadership Fulham had, as well as Lyon. And now he's, he's at Crystal Palace, where he's one of the senior players has got that leadership, which we are lacking a leader. When I've spoken many times now. Lloris hasn't gone on tour. He will probably be leaving in the next seven to ten days, right? Big, big question marks about Harry Kane. What's going to happen with him? Is he going to stay? I've already done a video on that today. But Anderson is a leader and a very good defender. I honestly think if we were to bring in Anderson, a lot of the fan base would be very, very happy with this guy. Um, genuinely, you know, 40, uh, if we, I reckon 30 million euros, 25, 30 million pounds, something like that, you could probably potentially pick him up for. Uh, the only thing is, he's right footed, so he doesn't really fit that left sided centre back spot, but would be good enough to play there. Uh, Van der Veen, obviously left footed, 22 years of age, Dutch international, the Dutch under 21's captain as well, probably fits the system a little bit more. But Anderson, for me, would be too good to miss up on. Now, a lot of people are going to be saying, why are we going for the likes of Anderson when we're not even, we haven't put bids down for Taps over or Van de Ven? I'll be completely honest with you right now. I don't know what's happening with, with, with this. You know, we were all told that on Friday we wanted to bring in Van de Ven or Taps over before we flew out and started our tour of Australia. Now, you know, the likes of the ITKs come out and said that Daniel Levy wants to have both or one at least one centre-back through the door before we travelled. That hasn't happened. It's all gone a bit quiet in terms of the tap sober and Van der Ven deals. But we might be turning our attention. We might, we might be pulling out of negotiations or struggling, struggling with negotiations. And then we're now looking at other targets, for instance, Anderson from Crystal Palace. For me personally, uh, I, I would take all three centre-backs. I think they're all very, very good. Anderson, for me, seen him play in the Premier League, been very good at Crystal Palace. Um, just just a, just a good centre-back. He's that kind of central centre-back, no-nonsense centre-back who can kind of really lead the back line. He's experienced 27 years of age. When is he 28? He's 28. Uh, he's only just turned 20, 27 a couple of months ago right-footed. Um, but Tottenham may use the fact that we've already got a few players on the payroll who've got the same agent as him. Uh, he actually joined from Lyon for 22 million euros. So it looks like um, it was 17 and a half million euros and it, the fee reached 22 million euros with add-ons. But I'll be honest, as of right now, I think this would be 
Very, very good business for Tottenham. Um, you know, just a good defender. Makes sense. Um, another bit of news coming out is regarding Giovanni Lo Celso. And Damasio has come out and said, um, Napoli wants Tottenham's Giovanni Lo Celso on loan. Get rid of this guy. You know, I don't know how many more times I've got to say it. There seems to be a few clubs interested. Real Betis, Aston Villa, and now Napoli. I, I've got, I've, I don't think there's going to be an issue selling this guy. He's wanted by a few clubs. Probably fits the system better at those clubs. Unai Emery's a big fan of him. We know he had him at Villarreal, so that's why the Villa links are there. Obviously, he played for Betis before. Probably had the best season in his career at Real Betis when he scored 16 goals in one season, which is an unbelievable return for a midfielder. Since that season, though, this guy has been an absolute flop, and I don't see the logic of keeping this guy at Tottenham. You know, we spent the best part of... Um, I want to say we spent around, I think it was around 50 million all in all. Um, transfer market to Cody K value, this guy at 15 million. Contract expires June 25. We signed him, we loaned him, um, we bought him for 40 million euros and then had to pay a loan fee of around uh, 15 million euros. So the deal worked out around 50 million pounds for Giovanni Lo Celso who has probably had a, a, about 90 minutes of good football in his Spurs shirt. You know, the, the, this guy was that bad. They even made a Twitter account called Stop That La Celso. So, yeah, for me personally, not at the level, hasn't been at the level for many, many, many years. Just want to see the back of him now. See you later. Move on. Um, there's also a bit of news um, regarding, uh, I know we spoke about Harry Kane earlier, but Sport One have put, the offensive statements by the, the Bayern Munich chairman about Harry Kane were not received by Bayern Munich and classified by the people involved as necessary. So Daniel Levy is going to set a price tag and we're going to move forward. We're either going to keep Harry Kane or we're going to sell him. I've been saying now for the last week or so, this situation is going to unsettle the squad if we're not careful. Like... Clement Longley, another player. You know, why are we even talking about this guy? Like, it's just... I, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I I don't... I don't... Like... Yeah. I, an absolute scrub. If we get him, I'll be absolutely fuming. Sky Sports have also reported about Napoli are interested in Giovanni Lo Celso. However, they wish to sign him on loan with an option to buy on a permanent deal. Um, while Tottenham prefer an outright sell or loan with an obligation to buy. So it looks like we're struggling to sell certain players. Um, what do you guys make of it uh, on Anderson? Let me know your thoughts. Do you think we potentially could be pulling out of the of the the deal for Van der Ven and Tap Sober and potentially looking at Anderson? Let me know your thoughts on Giovanni Celso. Do you think he could end up at Villa, back of Unai Emery? Do you think he could move to... Napoli with a, with a loan with an obligation to buy, or do you think he could return to Real Betis uh, and Anderson? Yeah, I, I listen, I, I think it's good business. If we get this done, it could be an excellent deal. Um, a few sources come out yesterday and said Pierre Emil Hoyberg is Atletico Madrid's number one priority for Diego Simeone's midfield, and Simeone is a big fan of the player. We all knew this, we all knew that Hoyberg was going to be a Simeone player. He is the sort of player that would run through walls for you and really, you know, really do everything he can for Simeone. That's um, that's what he wants to do, you know. he. It looks to me that that deal will get done. It just may, may take a few, a couple more weeks. But Simeone's pushing for the player. He likes the player. Yeah, so get it done. See you later. Move on. And then just take it from there, like... Well, if we could generate £30 million for Hoiberg, that, that gives Daniel Levy even less reason to then go and actually buy a few centre-backs or whatever. But we are going to finish. Make sure you drop a like in the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you all for watching. I am out. <laughs>